Hello learners, welcome to the video. In the previous chapter, we have learned about the longitudes, the semicircles that run through the North Pole and the South Pole are known as meridians. There are a total of 180 meridians of longitude in each direction, east or west. Now, what are the heat zones of the Earth? Due to vertical and slanted rays of the sun, all parts of the Earth do not receive equal amount of heat from it. The sun never shines overhead beyond the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. There are three heat zones. These are the tropical zone, the temperate zone and the frigid zone. The parallels of latitude divide the globe into three heat zones. Heat zones of the earth are divided on the basis of the amount of sunlight received. Well, on the basis of amount of heat received, there are three heat zones of the earth. These are the tropical zone, the temperate zone and the frigid zone. The tropical zone is also known as the torrid zone. The word torrid means hot. Besides being extremely hot, it is humid too. Between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn lies the torrid zone. The sun is always overhead at noon and this zone receives direct rays of the sun. Therefore, it remains hot throughout the year. The Tropic of Cancer passes through India and the southern half of India lies in this zone. The temperate zone is the zone of moderate heat. It lies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. Well, the sun is never overhead any time of the day beyond the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. The two zones, one in the north and another in the south, receives slant rays. As such, these two zones have moderate temperature and rainfall. They are never too cold and never too hot. Most areas of Europe, North America, Asia and South America are in this zone. The frigid zone lie beyond the Arctic and Antarctic circles. They are the coldest zones of the Earth. In these two zones, the sun never rises above the horizon. Well, the polar regions receive minimum solar energy. At higher altitudes, it is almost six months day and six months night. In the southern frigid zone, no permanent habitations exist. Some research stations for scientific expeditions have been established recently. Finally, we can say that the tropical zone is extremely hot zones of the Earth. Thus, the temperate zone is moderate heat zone of the Earth and the frigid zone is the coldest zone of the Earth. Now it is time to explore. Can you think of what mistake can students do while making a difference between the three heat zones of the Earth? In this video, we have learned about the three zones of the Earth. In the next video, we will learn about the longitude and time. I'll take your leave. Till then, bye, stay happy.